This video is sponsored by RoadkillT-Shirts.com. Look at the link in the description below before your purchases to support my channel and thank you. So today I wanted to talk about something that really tends to bother me. And I've kind of a little bit talked about it in the past, but not in the depth that I've been wanting to talk about. And that's these corporate scams that are going around. And nobody really realizes that this is happening and it's kind of a thing that's been normalized that it's that, uh, that's okay and I don't know if it's my own personal upbringing or if it's just the way society is these days but I kind of feel like we're raised for failure in a sense too so you look at the whole you're a child and you're going to school and you're going to school five days out of the week and you're in school from, I don't know, 8 until 3 or whatever, Monday through Friday. Well, that's the problem right there, is that I know that uh, kids have certain spans of uh, being able to tolerate or whatever. There's a certain point where their mind stops working and maybe they only need the 7 hours of learning a day. But still, in a sense, when you get into high school and you're still doing that seven hours a day. And actually, I remember back in my high school days, I was going to an alternative high school. And we were actually starting classes at nine and getting out of school at two, as well as having Friday off. So we were only going to school four days a week for five hours a day. Now, you kind of understand where I'm getting at with this corporate type scam thing that's those are the words I'm choosing to use you can uh, use your own words if you choose to but that's the best way I can put it so you go all through your high school career the four years of it and then you're graduated whether you choose to go to college or not that's something else and then that there you're going even lesser of amount of time considering I, I have took college classes and it was only uh, three classes and I already would go to class one day like Monday or whatever and even that day that's Monday through Friday and it's a two-hour class or something like that some of them are even an hour and a half so y you go from high school and then straight to college and your normal week is Monday through Friday with classes that are only two hours long which seems all great at the time being when you're going through it but come towards when you're not doing that no more and you're actually in the workforce what are you doing you're working five days a week eight hours a day sometimes even more it can be 10 or even 12 hours and you don't even get weekends off anymore most of the time what happened to all the religious holidays that if you're a christian you should be able to take Easter off. You should be able to take Christmas off. You should be able to take Good Friday off. And it should be mandated that you have Sunday off. No matter what day is the Sabbath, Saturday or Sunday, because in all reality it's just one day that you need to take of rest, but service usually lands on Sunday. I'm not talking about Catholic where service can be whatever. I'm not Catholic. I'm a non-denominational Christian and services on Sunday. Yeah, anymore if you're right out of school, whether it's high school or college, and you're looking to get in the workforce, odds are of you getting your religious holidays and your Sabbath day off are next to none. Sabbath day as talking as the weekend. Sunday so you can attend service and Saturday so you can have your day of rest. Odds are you're not going to get that. And it's a shame how companies are working these days that it, it just doesn't even matter anymore. And I'm just talking from my own personal experience, from jobs I've had in my life, basically. What happened to family comes first? That anymore it seems that you're spending more time away from your family just to make money to live off of. And that seems backwards to me. Most of the time, Dads lose out on a lot of time with their children because they're working eight or whatever hours a week 
40 hours a week or if you're even working overtime then it can be 60 or 70 hours a week or whatever that's an extreme right there actually 90 would be an extreme and I have done that before I've worked 90 hours in one week where's the time to spend for your kids from the time they're born they're, they're growing up every day and they're learning new things or doing new things and you're off at work and you miss the first time your kid walks or you miss the time when your kid's tooth fell out or you miss the first time your kid rode a bike you can even miss out on birthdays and those only happen once and then they're a year older considering like first birthdays and just the younger years there was one time where i was working pizza hut delivery and we had scheduled my son's very first birthday and i had the day off and my manager called me and said, we need you to come in today. The other person called out. We don't have a delivery driver. I said, I already told you I'm taking today off because it's my son's birthday. So piss off. And then I hung up on him. Then I went and enjoyed my son's first birthday. I mean, I wasn't about to miss that. I mean, we were actually already there headed to his birthday. I think we had that Chuck E. Cheese or something like that. And for me to schedule all that, pay for the reservation, and then have to fucking go to work? That's fucking bullshit, in my opinion. That I do all this shit, and I want to make something special for my kid, and I have to go to work? That's fucking lame, and the, the system type thing needs to change. If you're a Christian, you should be, you should have Sunday off so you can attend service. And not just half the day, but you should have the day off. Because there's times where there's church events and everything, and church picnics or whatever, and can you go to it? Oh, I can go to service, but I have to go to work right afterwards. I don't feel that's right. And then there's other things like, uh, maybe a family member wants to hang out on the weekend, and Oh, we're going up to the ocean or whichever. Would you like to come? And then you have to politely decline because you have to work. And then come up with some excuse. Uh, maybe someday I'll have weekends off. Or maybe someday I'll be able to choose my hours or something like that. But just in the sense that you have to do that, I don't feel that's right. Remember back in the Old West days? Well, of course, we all can't remember that because we weren't around. But look at the times during the Old West where... I like the whole, there's town events or whatever, and people take their day off just to go to it, or uh, everyone has weekends off or whatever. You, you have a certain trade, you're a blacksmith or a teacher or, or something, and you're able to spend your time with the, the family. Or if you're a farmer or something like that, then you're, you're always with your family. There's no worrying whether uh, work's going to interfere with uh, whatever you got planned or whatever else. And for the most part, that was a different day and age there, but what happened? What happened from that time to now? Why are we forced to do what we don't want to do? If, if we want to go to church, then... By all means, we should be allowed to go to church and not have work interfere with it. And if we're not in support of working on the weekends, then why should we work on the weekends? Why should we work on Christmas? Why should we work on Thanksgiving? Why should we work on holidays? That's time spent with the family. Of course, there's just the, with like Christmas, in the morning you open presents, in the evening you have supper. Uh, the Christmas dinner. Why do you got to miss out on one or the other? Why do you got to choose? And if you're scheduled to work night, oh, I can open the presents and everything, but I can't be around for supper. That just doesn't seem right. And even if you're a Christian, that's a religious holiday. That's the day Jesus was born. You should be allowed to have it off. And that's one thing that bothers me, and I'm not uh, ratting on any non-believer or anything like that, but Personally, my personal opinion, and I hope this doesn't come across as hate, because that's not what I'm intending it to be, but, like, if someone doesn't, if someone's an atheist, but yet they celebrate Easter, yet they celebrate Christmas because they want the presents, dude, that's not your holiday to celebrate, because you deny Jesus' name, but yet you want presents on Christmas? No. 
that just doesn't seem right to me. Or, yeah, you deny Jesus' name, and yet you want to go Easter egg hunting on Easter Sunday? That's a Christian holiday. And it really bothers me how these corporate scams are coming about that everything's about money these days. That, oh, you gotta, you gotta buy a whole bunch of Easter baskets or whatever. It's, it's about a, a big giant bunny that poops out eggs. It's about Jesus. So why should the non-believers get it off and the believers have to work? I say, fuck it. Go out and do your own thing. Start your own business. That's what I'm doing with this YouTube thing here. Because ultimately, be your own boss. And you can choose your hours. You get to choose your days off. But put the work into it. You got to do the full-time work to get the full-time pay. And ultimately, that's what I'm working towards. My vision, being at home, doing these videos for you guys, and choosing my days off. Saturday and Sunday attend church to where I'm not working till midnight on Friday and then rendering a video up until 2 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the morning Friday or excuse me Saturday night or whatever that way I can't even make church on Sunday because basically I'm working two jobs even though one is an online based job it's still two jobs and I'm not really complaining I got my plate full in a sense and I'm not hurting much for money but that's that's what it needs to be just like the golden age where everyone was doing their thing and you know you gotta choose your days off or whatever that's what needs to happen i mean the world isn't perfect there's no perfect system or anything but it's just the same things that i voiced it's just why should a christian not have their religious holidays why should they be work forced to work on their religious holiday that's kind of a gold rule if you have a religious holiday you can't work those days and Christmas is a religious holiday Easter is a religious holiday and those no need to be spent with the family not working. I hope I put out across a good point that I feel that we're raised up for failure we go to school for five hours a day five days a week weekends off you get into the workforce then you're forced to work weekends. You're, you're working more than you actually went to school for. You don't get your holidays off. You, you, you don't, in all reality, have control of your life. And what's the point of that? So those were my feelings on the corporate scams. I got other thoughts on it, but I didn't want to make this two video way too long to where it uh, bores you. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. If you like my work, please click on the link below for my sponsor's website, roadkillt-shirts.com. If you use my link and you make a purchase, I get some of the purchase. So that's a good way to support my channel. Another way is by clicking the PayPal donation link down in the description below. Again, I'm not asking for money, but if you do want to donate to the channel, then it's always appreciated. I, every, everything I get from my YouTube earnings goes straight back into my channel to improve it so I can make this a living for myself. And on a side note, I just want to let you guys know that uh, recently my PlayStation 3 has uh, overheated and gotten the red light of death. So if you want to raise up some funds for me to be able to fix it or get a new one, I would really like that because then I'd be able to bring you more Far Cry 3 footage, Bioshock, or any newer game. But for the time being, I have to work off of my 360, PS2, and my other game systems to get you good game footage. So if you want to see a return of PlayStation 3 game footage, uh, Please consider making a donation to me, uh, whatever amount you want, however many times that you choose to. I would gladly accept it and definitely would use it to repair my PlayStation 3 or even just get a new one too. You can leave a little email or whichever if you choose to. I also got a Twitter account, twitter.com slash secondhandhuntr. You can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash YouTube Secondhand Hunter. Chat with me on Skype. 
which the username is Secondhand Hunter. And I guess now that I'm using 360, I can tell you my game tag, which is Secondhand Hunter. I don't, I'm not even gold right now because I haven't used it for months, maybe even a year. But maybe if I do use it enough, then maybe I will go gold again. I don't know. Xbox and me just, we don't like each other. And I have put some thought in my website and I, I was working on code there for a while and I did let my uh, hosting um, provider lapse. So I'm considering um, going with uh, Hostgator and maybe just getting a WordPress site set up professionally. So there's an idea there. I just, again, if you want to donate towards that cause, then um, you could do that. All I just need is a, the lowest one or whatever, which you can check off the side if you choose to, too, which isn't too much, but just a little bit, even just even just a little bit gets me even closer back, too. But I am, I am considering that. I might even uh, put it back up with my uh, full screen earnings come the end of this month because all you see right now on my page is just a uh, GoDaddy advertisement saying that I need to get a hosting service. So those are my thoughts. Make sure you guys let me know what you think down below. Any comments, suggestions, uplifting words are always appreciated. And I'm actually going to have a Thanksgiving related video up tomorrow, Thursday, um, instead of Friday. Well, I might actually have a video up on Friday too, another review, but since it's a holiday, I'm going to have a Thanksgiving-related review up there on the day of Thanksgiving, because I feel that's appropriate enough, and I'm fully capable of doing that too, adding on a day, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. I'll see you guys on the flip side, and uh, thanks for watching.